Today, we're talking about what if you could test and evaluate your soil and compost with a microscope from home. But what if you're really, really good at it? <laughs> Not just that you can do it, but that you're awesome at it, right? What if you could verify that your methods were beneficial, whether it's compost tea or IMO, or but before you apply it, what would happen, right? I've been able to vet everything I've done on this new site. And from the get-go, we're seeing a crazy response from the plants and seeds, so what if you could help others with their soil, their plants, and their compost? How would that feel? What could you do? What would you do? But first, who am I? <laughs> I'm Matt Powers, and I fell in love with permaculture years ago, and I started writing books. I was a teacher, and I, and I became a full-time author. I left high school education. I became a full-time educator of educators, creating curriculum, teaching online, started my own companies. I became an expert in soil as my students wanted me to go deeper and deeper and deeper. Really all of that is the bridge to the regenerative future. That's what I've been working on to make sure that people have clear pathways and then the ability to monetize doing the right thing so that they can develop meaning and purpose in their life. I taught high school kids in a really depressed area. And so I wanted to make sure they could have a purpose-driven and meaningful life. And that meant doing the right thing. And in a degraded environment, you, you gotta live regeneratively. The world is degraded, unfortunately. But this is the greatest opportunity for ourselves and our kids to be the heroes of the story, to turn things around, to be that empowerment, that change, and to show generations moving forward what's really possible. Have you ever applied untested compost and had a bad result? More than once? Have you done this more than once? Okay, I always, in, I always examine and test mine because my second year gardening, my father-in-law got some bull manure and no BS, okay? And he, he applied it in the garden, dumped it in the garden, and it was so hot that it just destroyed the garden, ruined the garden that year. <clears throat> and what does that mean, hot? Well, it means high in nitrates. Well, what does high in nitrates mean? Well, functionally, it's going gonna, it's gonna to facilitate rapid growth, and it's going to be vegetative, not reproductive. So not fruits, just growth. And it's going to use four times the water usage. So that means swollen cells prone to fungal attack, pest attack, viruses, and disease. If we go to the book, Regenerative Soil, and look, we get some insight. They require literally, the, the chemical formula equation requires four H2 molecules for every nitrate. So it costs them a lot. Functionally, it's difficult to work with, but they need it. They need it in, in a certain level, in a certain amount, but... This is why we transform things into amino acids because it, it it actually doesn't require energy. They gain energy when they get that. And that's why people are using in EM and other things to transform things. And also because nitrates make the soil more alkaline. Do you see how that, that works there? And when you make it more alkaline, it releases hydroxide. So you're making your soil more alkaline and oxidized. And if you know me, <laughs> I work. and what I teach, you know that 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 what that means. It means dead dirt, and that's right. That's one hundred percent true. And so, have you done this before? Is that has that happened to you guys? Okay. What about bag compost? Have you ever bought bag compost early on? Remember this? Uh, um. Okay. So this is what it looks like, and we're going to be looking at another sample. So we'll like verify in real time. All of this, right? But these are pages from my book. You can see how scraggly that is. And then this, this does not look, not look good at all. And then questionable local composting startups, right? Actinobacteria, high, high bacteria looks anaerobic. The way it kind of like teams off of it like that, it's very worrisome. 
So the question that I get most is, you know, do I really need a microscope mat? Do I, can I just do it without looking? And do you see the difference in the way this looks? I mean, let's just go back. Boom, boom. See all the scraggles. Do you see how it's, I mean, look at the little dots, even the, the little clear dots. See how few there are? I know they're teeming on the bottom, but that's like most likely anaerobic. But do you see how more evenly spread, non-clumping, non like really focused, you know, they are, they're spread out. And then these hypal strands, they look like roots, they look like twigs, but they're critical indicators of a lot of things. And they're really easy to see. And the protozoa there, if you were part of the soil biology primer, you know all this stuff now. You can spot things very easily, even when it's a chaos. Tons of spores in this. It's Catalyst bio, bio Amendment. We'll look at this <laughs> later. You know, and, and I've also already hinted by that opener, right, that it was high in nitrate. So it, I don't want people to just think that I promote only a microscope approach, but microscopes cover a broad range of sciences. They're used by so many different uh, like branches of science. And it's because it's the linchpin between the sciences. And it's that perspective, that space that allows people to see. Oh my gosh, great to see Lucian here. Hey everybody, thank you for being here. It seems to me that in natural systems, as things get smaller, their interactions and connections increase. Let me say that again, because <clears throat> I see a lot of people are arriving. In natural systems, as things get smaller, their interactions and connections increase. Okay. This is one of the reasons why you're going to want a microscope. Here we go. Thus, the larger a biological system, the more internalized its systems. Animals and humans have a gut biome, right? We, we take things in and then digest it. But inversely, the smaller the organism or system, the more externalized it is. The more externalized the digestion is of microbes, the smaller they are, and the more dependent they are in direct reaction and adaptation to their environment. So in other words, the larger they are, the more internalized their digestion and interaction, in other words, with the environment around them, because eating is one of the main ways that we interact, breathing is another, but the smaller it is when we go down to the microscopic level, all their digestions externalized for the most part. And then you get up in like protozoa and nematodes, they've got an internal digestion and they're less affected by their environment. But you go down to the bacteria and the fungi and even the types of protozoa because they're feeding off of those. And so the types tell you, right? They're more in a reaction state to this, but the direct reaction state, they're more secondary. The direct reaction state is the microbes, not even the microscopic animals and the microarthropods, they're secondary. And so it's their externalized digestion making them in, in immediate, they can't help but react to their environment. This is a critical point. I hope that I'm getting this across. They have the greatest effect on pH and EH and soil and plant health and all this microbes, right? We've talked about biology for, for months and years now in my courses and on my, and my, my YouTube and on my podcast. They have the greatest effect. But they are also the greatest affected. They're the most greatly affected by the changes in the environment. So they put out, but they also receive. They're, they're incredible. And so we have to monitor these things to actually have preemptive understanding. So we can understand more about our environment and faster using microbes as our method of monitoring. So we eat contaminated food and then we feel a reaction. We use bad compost and then we see a reaction. But the microbes, 
in both spaces reflected what would occur before it occurred. They had already had their reaction. And so if we don't want to live in reaction, we have to look at the first level of reaction so we can make better decisions. And the first level of reaction and adaptation is always going to be microbial. Microbes are our best window into our soil, compost, plants, environment, and eventually it's going to be our health. I'm working on mapping not just the soil, not just the plant endophyte microbes, the surface, the philosphere, but what we eat and internalize that is part of secession and stays. And in some cases may travel within us. That's that's the plan, mind, body, and soil is the, after the trilogy, that's what I'm gonna write. So this is part of a much bigger arc that touches everything. And the microbes, the microscope, is how all of us can touch and interact with that space. <clears throat> so can I use a cheap microscope is the other question I get all the time. You know, in the music industry, we say, we used to say you pay for what you get. And, you know, it, right now, microscopes have gone down way in price. I, I totally get that. And technically, any light microscope that can view 40 to 1,000x, that can record and take pictures and has a mechanical stage so you can move things around, keep things still, that can do all the work of bright field, dark field, because you can get condensers. You can even build little condensers or cut them and put them in place. And you can do manual lighting, which I, I can just teach you. So... You can do all of those things, but for epifluorescence. And so it really comes down to how well you, it, it, like how well it works. Like, oh, this is easy. Oh, this is a little bit harder. Interpreting is, it, it's a little bit less clear, right? Because so much of this is interpretation and clarity plays into that. And then over time, how enjoyable that is. And you, you may not, you know, go to this level where you're getting National Geographic level images. And I, <laughs> during the live last time, people, there were some people with this exact setup being like, well, just to let you know, I have the same setup and my images do not look like yours. So, <laughs> so I, I, I watched videos of what people were doing and mentors of mine were doing and was like, what? And so I do things very differently and I get different images um, because I'm trying to answer the question, how do I be most natural? How do I get out of the way? How do I remove as many artifacts and uh, interferences uh, and artificial light things from this image to create a more natural and clear view on what is actually going on not in this moment, just in this moment, but in all moments like this in the soil. So that that's been my that's been my like guiding star, right? And so all my students also get a 37% discount on W Scientific Microscopes and a 10% discount at microscopes.au. That's part of the reason why I've worked so hard to, to get those because the cost is real. But it makes a huge difference if you can just go a little bit higher than the cheapest cheap. The cheapest cheap is gonna not be satisfying. And if you can just go a little bit further, you can just see some comparisons, you will enjoy yourself so much more. I know this because in, in, the, in the music industry, you know, like instruments, if you've got an instrument that is 10 times better than another instrument, it literally is like a joy to play. And you're like, oh, like, for instance, I have a friend whose dad like is retired and and some some dads, you know, when they retire, they they choose cars or they go on trips. This man decided to collect Martins and Gibsons from the 30s and 40s. And he's got like three of them. You know what I mean? Like these things are crazy hard to find. They're they're unbelievably costly. So it's just a handful, right? And I got to play one of them. 
And it literally is, you can play like a D chord or an A chord, things that sound just like plain and not so good on other guitars. They sound like, oh, they sound like the original way that they sounded on the original records the first time they were played. Unbelievable. That's how an incredible microscope can feel. You can have something like this that is mind bogglingly good. And it feels like every time I hop on the microscope, I'm making pictures that I'm just, I'm staring at, you know, I'm looking at the screen. If we want better soil, we have to become citizen scientists. Current tests and methods are simply formalized experiments. Elaine Ingham was revolutionary for saying, let's take compost or soil, put it in here and then mix it with water and shake it up, by the way. Do you see how much sand that is? Do you guys see how much sand that is? That's the one that was crowded, the nature's way one that I was showing you. Pretty wild. So she was revolutionary for saying that because it stepped us closer to what was natural. And I continue that process, but even more so. Science is always in the process of developing new experiments for deeper insights. So we need to be citizen scientists i need to teach you how to do not just the experiments in the way that i'm doing it but to think about how to create new experiments and how to further the science alongside everyone in a greater community we can't follow old formulas and expect to see new things here's what my students are saying this is about previous courses and then it'll modulate so folks love the courses that I have put out. They feel like it's worth the investment. And I've been teaching for over 20 years. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild to think about. I, my, first, my first educational book was released in 2006. One of my favorite things is, is to foment epiphanies and to, to, to have breakthroughs and paradigm shifts. These, these people are award-winning. Mike Garcia is an award-winning landscaper in LA. He's also taken all of Elaine Ingham's courses. These, these people have, have applied this. They've, they've learned from me, whether it's regenerative soil or the advanced permaculture student online. And this is a student that I actually gave access to, early access to the book. And uh, the book that, th that what we're talking about today is all based upon, all these images are based upon the regenerative soil microscopy book. Matt's probably here now live with us. He feels like this really fills a void, all the work that I've been doing. And this is all he does. He's a soil microscopist. He's shooting the soil. And this is something he's never seen before. So here's what my mentors are saying about this. This is Jeff Lowenfels, the best-selling author. This is the first review on the book and the work I've been doing in this space. So he, he writes books about all this stuff. He says, with my books, you can read about it. With this book, you can see the microbes. If you team with microbes, you're going to love Matt Powers' regenerative soil microscopy. So the second review is from Dr. James F. White. He's published over 900 articles. He's been uh, cited over 20,000 times. He is uh, one of my key mentors and he is extremely impressed he knows that this is going to fuel the renaissance and microscopy. If you want to be able to develop solid references for where you where you want to go, you need solid references of pure cultures. That's what I did. So if you want to understand your soil, you need to look at it over time. You need to be able to measure it against other references. You need to develop uh, an understanding of who's there and over the season. And uh, I've been able to do that and give you guides for that. So with a microscope, you can track and verify that things are working properly. You can actually know if the things that you're doing are working. So the introduction to regenerative cell microscopy begins Monday. It's a six week online course. I'm inviting you right here, right now. <laughs> so as Jeff Lowenfeld said, with the book, you can see the microbes. Well, with this training, you can see them too not just in a book, but with your microscope. So how is this different from what else is out there? Um, it doesn't stop at just Brightfield. It's focused and we're going in deep for Brightfield, but and all the other programs teach that, but I'm, I, we're doing an additional week on just all the additional methods. 
So you'll be able to pick up and be able to do those things and be able to apply those things if you have those levels in your microscope already, dark field, epifluorescence, and I'll even teach you the manual lighting technique. All the other available programs only teach bright field. They don't know how to do any of those other modalities. They haven't been able to implement them. And I have been able to do that. I've been able to vet my work and to be able to actually create new protocols, new experiments, new tests using these new technologies and methods. And it all connects back to regenerative soil. This is part of a trilogy. So it connects back to the way plant roots and photosynthesis works, the way that physics of air and water work, the, the way that organic matter and minerals behave. This is a combination, not just of the chemistry and the biology, but the physics, the, the horticulture, the, the, the earth sciences, the geology. And the microscope connects them all. And it allows us to understand from a cycles perspective, which is regenerative soil. It allows us to understand from a redox perspective, from the mineral corrosion rates, the true corrosion rates and availability of minerals, but also the bio biological pathways, the classical, you know, Elaine Ingham soil food web, but even beyond that to what came before that, which is the rhizophagy cycle, which is independent of all nematodes and protozoa and plant, all plant roots do this. And so we can verify this. And it's, it, instead of talking about these things, we can verify them and we can learn about them and then we can go and see them. So all the other programs that are available are limited to one area of focus or testing. So they're like, we're biological and we're doing microscope testing. It was revolutionary and controversial when I said, let's nitrogen test our compost. People online went nuts. And a lot of people, you know, said things. And, and the reality is, is they haven't done it. They haven't tested it. And they're putting their faith and all their eggs in one basket. And that is limiting. And they've got a closed mindset. This program is 10 times less than any other program available. And it's a hundred times more effective because it ties into everything holistically. So if you want to save money, you want to learn a lot more. You want to afford a better microscope because you saved all that money. You want to do more, see more, learn more, and regenerate more. And you want to pay as low as $50 a month. This is the program for you. If you want to learn microscopy at that next level. And then have weekly live online classes and labs. We're going to have group work. We're going to have breakout rooms. So you guys will be able to work through all, all model doing something. You guys go break up into groups. You discuss it. You do it with each other. And then the problems you encounter in your groups, you help each other out as best you can and then bring it to me afterwards. Live there, you raise your hand. You say, that's what the next questions are going to be. And we have a feedback loop in real time that irons out all the problems so that you can get to business and start looking at soil and compost and not get caught up on all the like the like the like the minutia of getting used to this machine we can get you through that pretty darn quick but it has to be that constant feedback loop with with your group with me in real time because otherwise if it's if it's two dimensional it's a video it's a book there there's a learning curve there's a a, a speed at which you you're you're caught at and we're going to liberate you. We're going to set things free. So we'll be live at the same time, this time actually every week, four o'clock, five o'clock, every Friday night. So if you're here now, this is what we're doing. And there's weekly surveys. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't always make it. Well, you can always get your answers by filling out the survey for that week that's emailed to you. And then I'll answer it live and you can watch it on the replay. I've been doing this for almost a decade. It's incredibly effective. I've actually not seen anyone else ever do this <laughs> and it's incredibly effective. So feel free to, to, to steal that one from me. Uh, weekly surveys are incredibly effective. Always get your answers, always be included. And it also includes the ebook. I have so many people writing me right now on a daily basis, wanting access to this book. You are going to get the first access to this book. The reviewers have it. I'm getting back to these incredible reviews. Everyone's excited. 
they want to read it to the end because the end has critical pieces that tie it all together. I don't just have like a, a tag end on things. I actually <laughs> tie it all together and give capstone pieces at those times that allow us to have real fluent control. It's the holistic keys that allow us to really access things. So they're, they're, they're all hooked. I'm so excited about it. This is what happened with regenerative soil the first time through. Yeah, I, I gave, I sent it to the reviewers and they got really quiet because they all started just reading. So you guys are going to get first access to this book and it has identification in it. So you actually can develop your eye. It has how to measure things. It has different composts and what they look like, what the life is like in these different composts. So instead of today where we're searching for things to, to demonstrate, I've already done the searching and I've already done the counting because, you know, if you're going around, you're searching around, you're mowing the lawn, it can, it can drag a little bit. And so I thank you for your patience and hanging out and doing that with me, but I've done all the work so that you have references, clean, clear references that you can refer to. And not only that, if you know, you can do the measurements and be like, oh, okay, well, it could be like that, but it also could not be like that. And so we need to look at the hyphal diameter. We look at the spore diameter. We need to look at the color. We need to look at behavior. We need to look at placement and context. It is not just the color and the width of the hyphae. I hope that this image shatters the whole problems that we see in the world currently around the size of hyphae. What's the, the correct size of hyphae. And then the color, I alluded to that. I've gone through and mapped these things out and gotten access to databases that are very hard to get access to, to get the actual facts. And then I've gone and done the testing on pure cultures and wild. And I've been able to develop and verify so much. This is all in the book. I never before could see a reference where you could see the 40, 100, 400, and 600 X all on the same page. So you would know what things look like at different magnifications. And this is all a one pager. And all the other images actually have the full circle, like the 600 X down below. Um, so it goes 4x, 100x, and it goes to that full circle. So you have the complete sizing ability to compare to yours. No one has ever provided this before. In all the microscopy books I've ever looked at, they provide you one picture. They don't repeat the picture. They don't use up the real estate. But this is how we develop fluency and comparisons. There's also the manual lighting technique I'll teach you. I created this. The bright field looks like the top left. That's what Elaine you know, Ingham teaches. That's what everyone teaches. That's all they know. I created this. Uh, initially, I called it the light field technique. But I'm going to call it manual lighting. And I'll teach you all about it in the introduction to regenerative soil microscopy. This is a root that's not smashed with a cover slide on top. This is a root that's not drowned in water. And this is a root that's not cut into pieces. When we allow things to be more natural, we learn at a different rate. And I credit that to a huge part of my education. The reason I'm different, the reason my work is different, the reason my stuff looks different it's because I keep asking what's most natural and it keep, continues to lead me to do things in radically different ways from everyone else. But I go back to my mentors and I show them and, and you've, seen, you've seen their reactions. So I've been able to verify all this. This is real. This is what a root really looks like. But of course, if light can be conducted down to the roots and shined out through the roots, which has been proven, then why wouldn't it look like 
glass. The plants, the cells, they're accepting light, right? So why wouldn't they look like little green houses of glass? And we'll be talking about epi epifluorescence, right? Working with me wouldn't be complete without me revealing some of that. <laughs> but also, um, we go through actual micro profiles for bacteria, for fungi. We, we, we have individual identification for the different types of nematodes, the actual types, not just nematodes, not just mouth parts. You got to understand that there's a wide range of these species. And if you don't show the range of species and just show that mouth part chart, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll mislead people. So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's why this book has so many examples and dark field, light field, epifluorescence, manual lighting, all these different conditions so that we develop that fluency of our eye. And then I do a lot of comparative studies in the book. This book contains studies that have never been done, never been conducted. And there's DNA testing backing it. And there's so much that went into this. So this book is unlike any other book that you'll ever encounter. I'm so happy that my mentors are giving us such great reviews. I have poured my life into this book. And this course also includes the RSOL database, a year in the RSOL database. This is just a sample uh, of what it will be like. But when we do our testing, we need a place to put the test results. We need a place to be able to compare it to our bioregion, to ourselves over time, and to everyone else along key metrics of biology, minerals, organic matter, plant sap analysis, toxins, all of it, location all of it. That's what we're building. That's what all my tests are going are feeding into and going to be displayed. Otherwise, it's a soup. How am I going to organize the thousands and thousands of tests that I've done? How am I going to organize it in such a way that over time, it's going to give me more information and more clarity? Well, by keeping it simple, first of all, keeping it clear and reliable. Second of all, and then third, having a place to put it all to keep it organized. And that's what the R soil database is going to be. It's going to change soil science radically. Uh, and it's going to be like a library where people will be able to see the results. Participants are going to be members, but people are going to be able to see the results. And not only that, things can be ranked for your bioregion. So the best compost, the highest organic matter soils, the most nutrient dense foods, all these things can be passively, constantly updated automatically, simply so that people who are doing the right thing are recognized. And because it's community rated, your input, your test results, all those things are voted on by the community and the ones with the highest rankings end up higher in the search. So it's going to be a lot of fun. This is in process right now, but when this is released, you'll be part of the beta testing group, and then you'll get a full year. So this is one of the best ways to develop your eyes is not just having a book like we're going to do, not just having databases online and in the book that we'll have, but being able to look at hundreds of pictures that are vetted by an entire community. That, that's going to change everything. And that's the thing is I have so much Date, like footage now that I really, I need the database. And so anyone who gets really involved in this to organize it, to handle this is going to want the database. This is, this is the breakthrough that is going to allow us to develop fluency, not just within our community, but within the, all the greater world of science and ag agronomy and everything. So all of that plus lifetime access. Yeah. I don't kick you out after a year. I hate that. It's the stupidest thing. You're like, I'm going to teach you all this stuff that's really important. And then as soon as you finish learning it, get out of here because I don't want you to examine it too closely and ask me questions. You don't want people to examine it closely and ask you questions? Why are you running online courses, sir? I want you to ask questions. I want you to hang out and be, 
be part of the community network, to get better, to become a teacher in the community, to test everything out and prove it to yourself and others. That's the goal, baby. That's 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 that that's the gold. Uh, that's you living it. That's you implementing it. That's you you seeing and developing your confidence and empowerment. That as a teacher, that's all I that's what I live for. So you get all the video, you get all the audio, you get lifetime access to the course, but you're also included in any future live sessions. If you've been in part of my courses, you know this is the norm. You're like, oh, I couldn't get my certification. But two years later, now that my kids are in college, I had the time and I did it the way I wanted to do it. I went deep. I studied nonstop. I, I, I put in the garden. I put in the food forest. I started the local business. It, right? That person never would have had that be able to turn on. And yeah, they dipped in that first year here and there. They checked this out. They went to the uh, two lives or something like that. And the next year they did this and that. But it was dipping their toes in it and just tasting it just to keep excited. And then they showed up and did it. And then you have the opposite. I have people who have taken the regenerative soil course three times. And they get deeper every time. They ask better questions every time. I live for that. That that means that I designed it right. That 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 I'm that I'm that I as a teacher I'm doing my job. And I know that you're going to love it. <laughs> this is my 7th Kickstarter. This is my 14th online course. This is my 24th book. And now is the time because we start Monday. So don't hesitate. Don't wait. Start with us. There's over 360 other folks already in it. It was a bonus for a while for the Regenerative Soil course signups. And then it was part of the Kickstarter. So this is a stacked crew. We have got all the all-stars from like all my courses, all my communities are already there. They're, they're already there. We have, this is the largest course premiere I've ever done. And they were 360 were already in it before I even like announced the course was going to begin. I had to let those people know that in seven days, this course is beginning and people are going, what, what, you know, freaking out. They're so excited. So there is a large group of very excited people who are passionate about microscopy, soil microbes, soil, food, networking with you. Being part of the solutions in our world and our communities. And they're already in, they're set, they're done, they're waiting. And it's really about you. Are you gonna join us? Are you gonna hop in? Cause there's gonna be networking. There's going to be group work. We're gonna do breakout work uh, gr groups in the Zoom. And we're gonna have some amazing live experiences. We're gonna have some hyper speed education and learning and skill building. Never done this. You know, this this live lab work with everyone's got their microscopes out. And 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 if you're like, I don't have a microscope yet, Matt, what are you doing? Monday. It's three weeks in that you need the microscope to do the group work. So it's the first half is learning, the second half is implementation. All right. So this is so you have time, you can get your microscope. You've got three and a half weeks. You've got the guide on choosing your microscope from me. Uh, if you've been part of the web webinar series, you, you have access to that. If not, hop on and it's it's there for you. Or join the course. It's in the ebook. All, all, all the critical information that you could check it off as you go. And there's extra bonuses, okay? So everyone gets the ebook, it, the essentials of compost and compost tea. And then there's this extra, extra bonus if you choose. If you choose, because there's lots of options there. We got payment plans, we got different options. If you choose, you can get two for one. Regenerative soil microscopy, a $250 value, a 30 plus hour soil course experience. It's an incredible value. And there's over a dozen teachers involved. Don't forget, this is this is Monday. This is Monday. 
This is a six week course, comes with an ebook, live Q&A with lifetime access, our soil database membership, plus that bonus ebook. And then an optional, if you want to go with a full bore, two for one, the bonus course. Do you want to learn to use a microscope? That's the question today. The introduction to regenerative soil microscopy begins on Monday. And I hope that you join us. I am so excited about this. This has been, this has been building for over a year. This has been something that I know I, I've been preparing myself for for almost two years. So these this is more from my students. Students are finding my classes to be life-changing. They are getting so much out of my courses. And this course is going to be another level. I'm going, I, I always try to outdo myself, always try to best myself, every single educational experience, every single community experience. I try to turn, turn everyone into empowered individuals. And that makes you educators, that makes you advocates. And I do list my sources. I show where this stuff comes from. We read through from the books together. So you can trust in this. You can check this out. This is going to be a life-changing course. This is going to be a, a course that you will love that will open up new horizons and allow you to be part of a community of learners and, and growers and citizen scientists. So the real question is, are you getting what you need? from your online education. You may have taken a microscopy course before. You may have heard about, you know, other certified labs are having trouble navigating things because they're not looking at minerals, navigating things because their protocols are the same protocols everyone else is using. And I'm here to tell you all the other protocols that everyone else is using, all of them are flawed. I've reviewed them all. I've tested them all against themselves in rigorous ways. This last one, I'm on my third time reviewing regenerative soil and about to take APSO again. There's always so much more I learn in every live Q&A. Thanks again, and I hope you have a great new year. This is a lifetime community. This is a lifetime of growth, of learning, participation, and you're invited. So please join us. We begin Monday. I'm so excited about this. I hope that you join us. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. We are at the cusp of a revolution. Just like Dr. James F. White said, the revolution in microscopy that's happening all over the world, people are realizing that when you get down to the microscopic level, it is a linchpin in science for a reason that you can understand things and link them back up to the ma macro. You can make better decisions. You can be preemptive and you can understand things at a completely different level. Thank you for being part of this community. Click the link down below, join us, sign up today. I'm so excited about it. We begin Monday. I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm going nonstop for you all. And I will see you Monday. It's going to be like no other course that I've ever done. I'm so excited. Thank you all for your support and for your participation. All right. I'll see you Monday, everyone. Woo! We did it.